Well, Jane, do you want to press the button? I'd like to say a big thank you to each and every one of you who've taken the time to subscribe to our channel, which has helped us re reach this milestone, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yeah. And a special thank you to each and every one of our friends who've been trying to promote our channel over the years. Yes, yes. So, yes. Here's, to the, yeah. here's to the next thousand. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
the riv nuts or whatever you want to call them are in place now so I've got all four of them in they're all cleared up ready and now I'm going to use this mastic sealing strip and the reason for that is twofold by putting it over the hole hopefully as this bolt goes down it'll seal any chance of any water going through but the other thing is the what well, well I'll show you we've still got the original ones in place so that's higher than this so the idea is by putting a bit of tape over this as it buttons down as it pulls down it should seal it and should take in for that I think I might put two layers on to be on the safe side as you push through the screw trap with the, the scissors this sealant goes on the inside which should seal the hole up but we'll put another one on to make sure we got a decent layer never get older the end of a bit of tape can you I think I should have maybe left the tape, the backing tape on the other one. Come on, here we go. Aha, I think we're having success. Yes. Bloody hell. That's not going anywhere, is it? So there should be a sense. Yeah. Right. So we've used two layers of this. On the each, well, we will do on each of the holes. Putting a script, putting a point of a scissors through, so I can find it when I put bring me bolts up. So just got to repeat that three more times. Right, well that's bolted down and it's going nowhere. But I'll show you what's happened where the bolts have gone in with that sealant, so you can see that it seals right round it. Here we go, look. You see how the sealants spread out right round it, and that is going nowhere. Next thing, got two end caps, so it looks a bit tidier. So we'll push them into there. He says, "No, he won't. He's going to have to get a hammer." They don't sit as nice as I thought. I wanted it perfectly square, but there we go. Right. Base plate, eyelet, and your, your part that goes into the uni strut. I'll show you what we mean. He says. You can get these with springs of which I did have now I see why you have spring ones come on baby Right, so what we've got now, turn this way, we've got the cap on there and then the eyelet on there. So that's this top finished. Just need to measure 2.5 to where I put the next one for the canopy to go on. 2.4, 2.5. So that's roughly where it needs to be. But the beauty of these, you can just slacken it off a bit and slide it backwards and forwards. So it was just a matter of uh, 
putting it in place. Oh, well that one's facing that way. But that's this stage done. The next thing is to try the canopy. Right, so we're now going to have a go at putting the tarp up. Well, it's not a tarp, it's a proper canopy with actual, you can see there, double stitched. So the idea is, put a clip on that. Then when I find, because it's this board is 2.5 by three. So the 2.5, it's what's going to go onto the roof. <laughs> One on. Right, needs to go up further. So just slacken the eye bolt off. Oh, I must have put this on too early. Because now I've moved the eye bolt, it's took a bit of paint off and I'll have to yeah. laser it. Ooh! <laughs> 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 right, so that's that side on, but now I need to go and adjust that one because I've put it the wrong way around. We'll get there. show you what it looks like. It's not bad, it's offering a bit of shade. Whether we've got it up correct or not, that uh, is to see. Well with our homemade canopy stroke awning that we made, uh, that we used at Van Life Chill Out, the wind got up during the night and it was just like having a sail. In fact, if we'd had one on the other side, I'm sure we would have flown away. So anyway, we've been having a little play and we've tweaked it a bit. So I'll show you. Firstly, we need to say a big shout out to Kerry of, uh, isn't, is it isn't bad, darling? Yes. Isn't yeah, bad. isn't bad on Instagram. Yeah, because, uh, she's a, a girl guide or something isn't she because she come and she tarpled it all different angles and it worked perfect but what we found was as you say it was just flying all over but what Kerry had said was we needed some decent sturdy adjustable poles so anyway I'll show you so first off we bought two packs you get two in a packet come in a little bag and everything the Heichmann and the self-adjusting aluminium poles so we've got two packs of them and because the canopy was coming out 2.5 uh, coming out three meters it was too flappy so what we've done is at two meter point Jane's made these little fixings so that we've put it onto there and then the end of it we've just put a, a tie a, a rope on and pulled it down so it creates a little angle so if there's rain and it can run off so we've done that and then oh here you are you're under the tarpaulin but the big thing I had a problem with was 
you see up here where the original canopy goes you still had all this area here exposed and the whole idea was if it rains but it's warm and you want to keep the door open with the sprinter and the big door it was just coming in so we bought this little triangle piece which we've put another eye bolt up there then we've put it over to a pole and we've managed to get it in to this position here but if you see the gap that's here so I was saying to Jane can she saw it but it was always one of them things where we would need to try and set it up then once it's set up before we take it down Jane's going to pin it so that we know exactly where to sew it so that'll just make a nice big canopy so that's our attempt at an orange. What do you think about it, darling? I think it looks really cool, really, really nice. So yeah, and you, you're going to be able to sew that up there, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've sewn all the extra parts on, so no, they've all worked. So anyway, that's it for now. So till next time. Bye, Bye for, for now. now.